वेलकम टू लर्न एंड ड्रॉ आई एम अनूप देसाई वर्किंग एज लेक्चर सो इन दिस वीडियो विल सॉल्व एन एग्जाम्पल ऑन आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन सो बिफोर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम सो लेट सेट द यूनिट्स टाइप यू एन आई टी एस क्लिक एंटर सो हियर विल सेलेक्ट जीरो ओके नेक्स्ट लेट सेट लिमिट्स एल आई एम आई टी एस लिमिट्स जीरो कॉमा जीरो एंटर टू हंड्रेड कॉमा टू हंड्रेड एंटर नेक्स्ट लेट जूम दिस जेड एंटर ए एंटर सो नाउ द पेज सेटअप इज कंप्लीटेड नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज सिंस वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द फिगर्स इन द आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू वी हैव टू यूज वन कमांड to change our cursor to isometric view so that is here in the command let's type it as s n a p snap s t y l snap s t y l then press enter now it is asking the value so give the value as 1 and press enter now you can see the cursor is shown along x and the y axis so the this is the x axis and this is the y axis so now for the z axis we have to press f5 now we can see this is x axis this is z axis next once again f5 so we'll come back to z and y axis and this is x and y axis so like this we can change our axis now let's see the question this is our a uh, question so you can see here they have given the front and the side view of our machine component so this is the uh, front view and this is the side view okay so in the front view it is made up of 60 mm of height 60 mm of length from the side view we will get 60 mm of width okay so our component will have 60 mm length and 60 mm width so 60 mm along the x axis and 60 mm along the z axis and also it has 60 mm of height that is it will be drawn 60 mm along the y axis okay so now uh, let's now draw the base that is 60 mm along x axis and 60 mm along the z axis so for that let's select the line here okay so we'll select any one point so now uh, since we need the straight line here we'll select ortho mode okay so the length is 60 we'll press enter okay so next uh, we need to draw along the z axis we have to press f5 to change the axis so here i will type 60 again and press enter next again 60 press enter next again 60 press enter and enter so the base of our figure is now completed okay so next uh, what i have to do is i have to draw the side view as you can see from the figure they have given the left side view okay so this is the uh, left side view so first let's draw this left side view here from that we can complete our figure okay so from the left side view we can see that the height of the figure is 60 mm and from here to here it has the height of 20 mm and from the bottom uh, it is also at a height of 20 mm okay so here what we have to do is we have to draw a height of 60 then uh, along the uh, x axis length of 20 and again here 60 minus this 20 so i have to draw the line along the y axis at a height of 40 mm and then this length so this will be total 60 minus this 20 that is here i have to draw 20 mm okay so let's draw this select the line option from this point i will uh, for y axis f5 so i will draw height of 60 mm press enter next again 
for z axis f5 so here you can see so the length 20 mm press center next as we know this length will be 60 minus 20 that is 40 mm press center next this length as we know 60 minus 20 that is 40 mm 40 press center then this length will be 20 mm enter and enter so i have drawn this uh, left side view here so we have to create this same figure on this side also okay so for that again i will select the line option so we can use here copy command so use the copy command copy all these things and then copy this to the other side so that is will be the one of the method another method is we can draw this again okay so both are correct so i will select this line here i will draw a length of 60 okay so next uh, this will be 20 again 40 40 next this is 20 now uh, on the other side also i have drawn the figure next let's join these lines select the line option then select f5 to change the axis so next let's join this line enter repeat line from here i will join this line repeat i will join this line okay so join these lines next last step is we have to draw this slant line here as you can see this slant line from the front view it is at a distance of 20 mm okay so for our easy understanding for our easy drawing what i will do is i will select the line option here and then join this line select this point unclick this ortho mode then join to this line okay i have joined these two lines next what i will do is i will select here copy option select this line okay then press enter now it is asking how much distance we have to copy so i have to copy this as you can see extension press on 20 press enter so next again select the copy command select this object okay press enter now it is asking uh, the point so i will select this point as extension as 40 press enter now you can see the figure is completed i have taken this reference select this line press delete so now the figure is completed next again the last step is select the line option select ortho mode from here i have to draw a length of 40 mm here next f i again 40 mm now you can see this is the end of our figure so last step is we have to show the dotted lines which are at the background i will select these lines okay so go here other load iso dash okay select this okay so i will select this line again go here select this one so now the dotted line is completed so next step is we have to dark these lines for that select these lines go here to the layer go to this uh, zero point 3 mm okay so next is in the bottom option so we have to select show line width so now we can see the it is completed now uh, we have to show these uh, three dotted lines at different line width select this one go to 0 0.13 so you can see so this completes the problem Thank you for watching the video. For more videos on
AutoCAD and Engineering Graphics. Subscribe to my channel, Learn and Draw.